So I want to welcome everybody to the 8 Weeks Wellness Corporate Challenge. Uh, we're going to go over the actual challenge program. Briefly going to go through the why. Uh, I know I looked at, we had about 43 people registered for today's webinar. And uh, I looked at the list, and a lot of you guys have been on previous webinars. Some of you have not. So for the sake of those people that have not been on a webinar yet and really don't know much about the 8 Weeks to Wellness Corporate Challenge, I just want to go over why we created this program. And uh, Dr. Eric, if, if you ever want to uh, jump in, just please stop me. But uh, we created the, the program. We started creating it about a year and a half ago. And uh, I think most of you know that uh, a lot of you guys are CSK offices. But, uh, you know, I was working and I met Brad Galacki about three years ago and we started talking. And, you know, we were always looking with Eight Weeks to Wellness to have a, a corporate position. But we really didn't have a corporate program. But we had uh, many of our uh, companies that we work with doing lunch and learns. And we work with a couple brokers. Uh, you know, were showing us these online platforms which really didn't impress me too much. So in the back of my mind, I always wanted to develop a, a skinny version or a light version of Eight Weeks to Wellness that we could do outside of the office. Uh, and so we've been, we're working on that. And I have to tell you, I've seen a lot of online wellness programs, but the thing that really excites me about this program is, first of all, that it's chiropractor-led. And, uh, you know, I spoke at the Iowa State Convention this past weekend, and one of the things that I said is that, you know, I will never sell out on this profession because I truly believe that we have the most well-rounded wellness message out there. Um, and so many of the wellness programs that I see, and Dr. Eric, I know you, you feel the same way, are one-dimensional. You know, they have the eating component. You know, it's, it's a dietary component, or it's the exercise component, or it's a stress management component, or it's a smoking cessation program. But it's not three-dimensional. And, you know, what, a lot of times when I speak to audiences, one of the questions I ask is, when, this is to patients, is tell me something that you do that affects your health in a negative way. And, you know, they'll say, well, I don't eat good or I'm not exercising, you know, I don't get adjusted. You know, I wish I heard that more. But, um, you know, they, they say the things that they're doing that obviously in, impede with their health. And then you ask them, well, tell me some things that you could do to improve your health, which is always the opposite of what they're doing wrong, right? If they're eating bad, they can start eating better. If they're not exercising, they can start exercising. If they're, if they're not managing stress, they start managing stress. Well, if you take a look at all of the, the things that are going to create chinks in our armor or, or weaken our chain, so to speak, these are all the things that, that fit perfectly into our 3T model of chiropractic, which is trauma, thoughts, and toxins, right? The physical stresses, the mental, emotional stresses, and the biochemical stresses. And that's the platform of this program. And I think we have a wonderful message, and that's all wrapped up in uh, understanding of a chiropractor also being able to take care of the nervous system so that we clear that nervous system so that when we start to put good food in, when we start to put good movements in the body, when we start to put good thoughts in the body, the body really responds because the nervous system is functioning well. And that's a component that a nutritionist doesn't understand, a medical doctor will probably never understand, most don't understand uh, to the level that I'd like them to understand. Uh, so we, have, we are perfectly positioned, guys, as the wellness authority. Um, the only problem is corporations don't know that. Right, Eric? I mean, when we go in, uh, you know, they think that we're, we're back pain specialists. You know, and Dr. Eric and I talk to a lot of brokers, and we talk to a lot of corporations, and when you go in there, you know, they think we're about back pain. They think we're about mechanics, of inju injury prevention. They really don't know that we have a background in this 3T model of understanding chiropractic and wellness. So th this is going to be a process of education, but I truly believe that in the next year with what we've created, we can make a huge, huge dent in, uh, in, in that mission. So let me get started here with my PowerPoint. Um, if you know me, guys, you know that I, I don't waver from fundamentals, and, and my fundamentals that I always teach in, in, in uh, developing any protocol or system in your office is to first attract believers. You know, attracting the right people. I could have never created this program without Dr. Eric. You know, uh, I couldn't, couldn't run eight weeks to wellness without my assistant, Laura. I mean, it's, I couldn't run my office without my office manager, Debbie. So I look for the best of the best people. Um, I, I don't look at a program. I don't look at a system. You know, when we implemented ChiroTouch. You know, all of these things aren't going to run themselves. They need people to help lead this. And, and likewise, you need good people on your team. You know, if you don't have a good marketing person, you know, that extension, that megaphone, if you will, out in the community telling people the good news of what you do and what you can bring to the corporation, well, you know what, You're, all of that falls onto you. And one of the big problems I see in the chiropractic profession is the chiropractor tries to wear all the hats. You know, and so the first thing with this is attracting believers. So, you know, before we launched any of this, you know, Dr. Eric, uh, uh, Brad, and I worked on this with our programmer for a year and a half, spent a ton of money and a lot of our time developing out a good system. So what was that system? Well, that was building a model. And we used our expertise of what we saw out in the marketplace of what they needed, 
and we filtered that through a chiropractic lens to say this is what we want to create. And the other thing too is that we had, uh, when it comes to attract believers, we not only had Eric and, and Brad, but we had brokers that we work side by side with. We have one broker in particular that has three wellness coordinators that work within that uh, brokerage. And uh, Dr. Eric and I work very closely with two of the wellness coordinators. So along the way, as we were developing this model, we would go back to the broker and say, hey, listen, this is what we're doing here. You know, what do you think? Because why? Because they're the end user. You know, they're going to be the one out representing it to their companies. And we need to make sure it works for them as well in a clinical and an economic model. So we, we vetted this through them as well. How am I doing, Eric? Anything you want to add? No, I'm doing awesome. All right, cool. It. So demonstrating results. I kind of feel that that's where we are right now, guys. We're somewhere between the build the model and demonstrate results. Um, because we're going out into corporations. I, we fin up, finished up a couple corporations, a couple schools that we were working on, a corporation. We actually implemented this. Uh, Dr. Eric did very nicely into an insurance broker. We had them go through the program. So we are somewhere between build the model and demonstrate results. And then you can see that the last uh, thing here is building the brand. So I feel in chiropractic we have this ass backwards where we try to go out and get new patients without really having the substance of the foundation built. So I, I felt it was really important to kind of make sure that you guys know that we've done a lot of the heavy lifting and legwork in developing this model. If you could really understand, and hopefully you will understand after this hour is done, what it's taking for us to create this, you would recognize that you could never do this on your own. You just don't have the bandwidth to be able to create something like this. So, and, and we're very... Uh, adamant about our reputation. You know, we, we want this to be the best of the best um, because eight weeks to wellness is the best of the best and I never want to tarnish that brand image just for the state sh sake of a more market share. You know, first and foremost, eight weeks to wellness has always been a clinical program before it's been a marketing program. You know, there's wellness everywhere in the marketplace but I really don't care because if you don't have, if you don't have the wherewithal to deliver on the promise of wellness, you're sunk. You become a fraud. You're a poser, right? You've got to be able to deliver on the promise of, of what you're uh, taking to the message that you're taking to marketplace. And this is really our message, guys. And I, I want you really to pay attention here because, to me, this is a huge opportunity. I had, and I'm, I'm going to um, give you a real life situation. I had a meeting last week with our uh, a head of our HR uh, of our school district. So she's the HR director of Council Rock School District. Now Council Rock School District is the fifth largest in Pennsylvania out of 342 school districts. Council Rock is the fifth largest. I think it has over 2,000 teachers and over 5,000 staff members. So it's enormous. So this woman runs the HR including their health benefits. I sat down with her and I pulled, this was one of the first things that I pulled out and I asked her, I said, Christine, do you know about metabolic syndrome? Because it's very important when you're developing a wellness program that you be able to create a reason or a need for people to want to engage in the wellness program. You can't just throw out a wellness program and not give people a signal that they need it. She said, no, I don't know what that is. So I went over this with her. I said, well, metabolic syndrome is important because if any of your employees have metabolic syndrome, and by the way, Christine, 40% of the population over 40 has metabolic syndrome, so it's a huge problem right now. If they have metabolic syndrome, they're nine times more likely to be a diabetic, and they're 3.5 to four times more likely to have a stroke and a heart attack. And those conditions cost your company a lot of money, and they cost your company a lot of productivity uh, loss. So I want to go over this with you. It, wait, uh, metabolic syndrome is where you have three of the following five criteria you're diagnosed with metabolic syndrome. If you're a wo woman and your waist size is over 35 inches or a man over 40 inches, that's one of the criteria. If your triglycerides fasting are over 150, that's one. If your good cholesterol, your HDL cholesterol is uh, under 40 for a man or under 50 for a woman, that's a strike against you. And you can see down underneath HDL cholesterol, that's triglyceride to HDL ratio. That is the most important ratio when it comes to looking at lipid status. You don't look at cholesterol, guys. You look at triglyceride to HDL ratio because that's 17 times more predictive than looking at cholesterol of whether somebody's going to have a heart attack or a stroke. That ratio wants to be under 3. If your blood pressure is hypertensive where you're 130 over 85 or, or greater, you're hypertensive, that's a strike against you. And finally, if your glucose is over 100 fasting, you only need three of the following five criteria to be diagnosed with metabolic syndrome. And if you're diagnosed with metabolic syndrome, that is a huge, huge risk for chronic disease. The top three killers in our country now, which will take seven out of ten Americans this year, will, are heart disease, cancer, and, and obesity-related conditions like diabetes. 
And, you know, nobody wakes up, I always say, nobody wakes up one day and says, today's the day I want to get diagnosed with breast cancer. Today's the day I want to die of a heart attack. But there's an awful lot of people that's, that are waking up with that reality. And the fact of the matter is that is preventable. These are preventable conditions that people understood. Uh, we actually are now developed, uh, and thanks to Dr. Eric, we've developed a wellness score, metabolic syndrome uh, score. So we actually have a wellness score where we can go in, and she was very excited by, by, about this, by the way. We are going to next year, because everything has to be planned kind of a year in advance with these school districts, we're going to be doing four metabolic syndrome screenings at different locations. We're going to do one at a high school, one at a middle school, one at, and two at elementary schools throughout the year. She was really excited about this. So we're going to have LabCorp, and by the way, we've set up, thanks to Dr. Eric, we've set up a corporate contract with LabCorp where LabCorp, on behalf of Eight Weeks to Wellness, can go into any of your corporations, any of your organizations, and do a lab testing at very low cost. We have very competitive because now we have a corporate account. So they can actually go in and we can do these bi biometric screenings to find out whether a person has metabolic syndrome and give them a report card that looks like this. This is enormous. This is huge, guys, because we're going in trying to screen with substations and things like that. I, I get it. It's great. I think it's great to understand how the nervous system is functioning. All I can tell you is, is that that's not the conversation that's taking place in companies. Okay? There's, they're, they're not talking about doing uh, screening with substations. I think that's uh, technology that's done at, 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 at fairs and things like that. But when it comes to the economics of this, people want to see results. And these are the results. They want to see changes in blood work. They want to see changes in general wellness biomarkers like BMI, waist to hip, these types of things. Anything you want to add, Dr. Eric? No, that's all. You're doing all right. great. Cool. And so uh, the EPIC study, guys, we, we show them this one too. Uh, I think this is a huge study that you should be showing uh, any type of HR director, any insurance broker, because what you want to do is you want to create the problem. You know, Dr. Brad always says, you know, create the straw man so that you can attack it. So you, go, you lead with the metabolic syndrome to show them what a chronic problem this is, and then, then you, you come in with a solution. Okay, Mary, let me show you what the solution is. Well, I want to show you this EPIC study that was done um, and, and uh, published in the Archives of Internal Medicine is that they looked at 23,000 people and they looked at four specific behaviors, not smoking, exercising 3.5 hours a week, having your BMI under 30, and then eating a healthy diet, which they, they defined as fruits, vegetables, beans, whole grains, nuts, seeds, and limited amounts of meat. And in those subset, and I believe there was about 4,000 people that fit within the subset of the 23,000, they looked at that population of people, that 4,000 people, and here's what they found, that 93% of all diabetes was prevented, 81% of heart attacks were prevented, 50% of strokes, and 36% of all site-specific cancers. Now, let me ask you a question, Mary. How much do you think these diseases are costing your organization? Tons, not just in terms of the economic cost of caring for these people, but what about the lost productivity when these people can't be on, on the job, you know, or when you have to replace them and train somebody? So this is a huge pro uh, problem, and it's the reason we've developed the Eight Weeks to Wellness Corporate Challenge, which we term as high-tech, high-touch. And Dr. Eric, uh, if you don't mind, I'm going to let you kind of take over from here and, and talk about the program. Sure. Awesome. Uh, go ahead and next slide, Dean. You've got my ladder slide on there for me. So, okay. All right. Good. Excellent. So I threw this together, guys, and uh, you know, one of the biggest things going forward that um, I wanted to start with um, in developing this out was that working with Dean and Eight Weeks to Wellness, I started to realize that um, what we were developing in the clinical side of it in our office was the wellness authority. You know, people would, you know, we talk wellness all the time about, you know, our day our, our one is all about the, the three T's, you know, understanding that you know, our, our disease mechanisms are driven by you know, uh, physical, mental, and emotional uh, and chemical traumas in our lives. So I started to realize that we have the message, we have the bullhorn. How do we create that more? And uh, so I put this little graph together for you, and I want to kind of point out the very bottom rung. Look at that negative 10 down there. All right, so this really, these percentages are based upon developing out an authority into your practice within your community overall. And that graph on the left where it says the hour going up says relationships, quantity, and quality. Because to me, authority can be a management of quality, meaning that it's my children. I'm pretty much the authority because they're in my house and they're my, my children. Um, and they're five, four, and nine months, so I'm pretty good there. But it's a limited quality. It's three people. So you, everyone knows on here, if you're a chiropractor, that you know, your quantity is your, your practice base, your seeing, the influence is your message, that's the quality you're building. And we build it over time, and it starts with a day one. Um, it starts with uh, getting the exam done. It starts with getting the report of findings uh, there. It starts with the wows afterwards to re-educate. It starts with table talk. Uh, it starts with getting 
referrals. I mean, they're all the ways you're building that authority inside of your uh, practice. And uh, so that the graph's kind of laid out that way. So it, as, as this uh, ladder builds up, it's going to be increasing quantity and quality of your relationships within your community. So the negative tenure is interesting because uh, Dane kind of alluded to it a little while ago. Um, we, in some cases, have a negative brand equity. Dane, would you agree? Uh, yeah, yeah. Is the Pope Catholic? <laughs> yeah, you know. So, and again, because and, and the biggest part sometimes is because our message is so diluted um, in the profession itself between back pain and neck pain and and you know, getting pigeonholed into work comp or PI. Again, nothing wrong with that stuff, guys. As long as you're moving bones, in my opinion, you're still doing art of chiropractic. But the message is so mixed. Um, I think initially when Dane and I sat down with the insurance brokers, they were kind of aware because they were they thought we were going to come in talking about. Uh, you know, uh, back and neck pain from work and comp standpoint, and they didn't really want our, want our message. And we had it really over what, probably two years, Dan, with Amy. Yeah. Layer mm -hmm. this. Yeah. It's, it's been a layering effect of like, no, listen, for real, trust this, you know. And to the point where even, and again, I'm not sure Dan mentioned this before, but we were actually getting paid um, out of pocket by the insurance brokers to go and do these talks. And that's the very bottom there. You'll see where lunch and learns. So let's just say at negative 10 to 2 percent. That negative 10 to 2 percent is basically the individuals that are walking through your practice, and you and again, we're doing a Groupon push right now. And I know for a fact, out of probably out of 50 percent of the Groupons walking in, they have no no context of what wellness or what chiropractic wellness especially means um, to them as a uh, as a patient coming through. So that's kind of the first part. So where it says new patients, existing patients, networking groups, police and fire, insurance brokers, school districts. Most likely your authority is pretty limited in that sense right now because you're still developing out that relationship. And again, they gotta they gotta uh, you know, know you first before you can develop that part out. That second rung there at three ten three to ten percent is when you're going out to the companies and you're now starting to build that image because now you're dealing with small groups. Now you're getting into the environment where you know my talks go range anywhere between you know twenty to one hundred and fifty people. Your your message is now being pushed out to a bigger megaphone now, which is nice. But again, it's that. 20 to 150 area, your WOWs, if you're doing WOWs in office, um, or we have only one recorded now for our office, but the WOWs are that next leveling, uh, layering effect of trying to build that uh, authority again within your practice. Health fairs, again, getting out, one of the ones we made last year, uh, we went to a company called Almac. Um, our uh, meditation expert, Teresa, made a relationship contact with one of the heads of the uh, organizers for the fair. They wound up being an insurance broker. And fast forward a year and a half later, now they're working with us to get uh, our program into their company. So it took a while to get there, but again, that was that little part. So again, three to ten percent there. And then your wellness screenings. And Dave mentioned a little while ago, the wellness screenings are nice because it gives you um, a more direct access. Meaning that when you're doing wellness screenings, you're really with the person for five to ten minutes. In some cases, in some cases longer. It depends. And so you're really building these almost like mini mini exams slash mini report of findings during the wellness screening. So you're increasing your authority there too. And typically for us on wellness screenings, we are going to be seeing anywhere between, you know, one at a very small minimum, all the way to 20 or 30 um, employees within a few hours. So you're really developing out that authority on a, again, small group basis, but they're getting to know you more intimately. But then there's the capacity block. All right, the capacity block for this guy is for us, what I found, and they might agree with this too, is that you have a capacity block in how many people you can speak with. Because when you go out to these wellness screenings, you've got the lunch and learns. Typically, like I, I, we just did a, a talk at uh, last year for a tea company, and they have factory workers and uh, staff workers, at, at hundreds of them, and the problem is they can't get them all in one spot at one time because no work would get done. So they give us access every three months to maybe 20 or 30 people. So there was a capacity block. Your message isn't getting out to a full group. You're still small group message. Um, there's capacity blocks for your staff, getting people out to do this, coordinated, getting a massage therapist to come out, getting a trainer to come out. So your capacity block might be staff-based because maybe you are a, a one-man show right now or very limited in that part. So there was those capacity blocks that we kind of see pick up. Um, any other capacity blocks, Dane? <laughs> no, I mean, I, I think you hit the, the nail right on the head. I mean, I remember going out, and by the way, we got paid $500 to go out and talk to these tea companies, so we picked up yeah. new patients, and we also got paid. But I specifically remember a year ago having a conversation with the owner's wife who just loved what we were talking about, but she was like, you know, we, we, wanna, we want something better. You know, what else can you do? And we didn't have the corporate challenge up and running, but there's no doubt in my mind, had we had it, I mean, we could have went right into offering the program to her employees. Yeah, absolutely. And again, and I would kind of note on here too, this middle rung right here, go below it. This is where, you know, I think Brad's relationship with us uh, two years ago and Dane's relationship with Brad growing um, got us into CSK. And uh, 
in getting Teresa, uh, our, our key holder, coached up was really integral for us to kind of get this, you know, moving in the direction that we're at right now. Uh, it draws in patients. It gave us the tool set for Teresa to utilize too. And that's where Brad's, you know, expertise with CSK came through for us. And, uh, and that's, that's the reason why we teamed up with him. Um, and then go ahead and scroll, scroll down one so we get that capacity block out of the way. So how do we get the capacity block out? Go ahead and scroll down one slide from me. There you go. All right, it's gone. All right, that'll be a large group. Okay, so how do you do that? Uh, you remove the subluxation. <laughs> there you go. Exactly. Correct and detect. So we now we are corrected. So what we, we're doing now is that um, in, when you open up the Wellness Challenge portal, and by the way, guys, for most of you out there that are already involved with the program, um, this is when you get the leads back to us. Right when that wellness screenings are there, you're, you're at a capacity, you've done the lunch and learns. By the way, guys, Daniel and I talk about the lunch and learns and health fairs and wows. They're like a jacuzzi experience. You get in the jacuzzi and you start talking about your message and everybody's in the jacuzzi and gets excited and they're like, yeah, cool. And next thing you know, they go back to work and the jacuzzi, the warm water's gone, and they're like, okay, forget it, I'm done. I'm going back to my old cheeseburger and sitting at my desk for eight hours. Yeah. Um, and Dan, I'm sure you're frustrated too. We would go back to the same company last year, and uh, the same group was there. As a matter of fact, the one time I went back for a uh, Eat Better talk, and they ordered pizza for lunch. <laughs> I'm like, oh, shit. I'm like, there was my, you know, my whole message last time was about getting healthy lunches in, and you know, I was getting getting snap food right there just, you know, the following month. So that, that was showing me that there's some limits there, what we can do, and that jacuzzi experience wasn't getting through all the way. Um, so we had to kind of keep building on that. So right where that wellness screening is at is where most people get frustrated and maybe the leads fall off and the communication breaks down and the company goes, well, what, what are you going to do now? Come, another, another talk? Great. You know? And it's like, okay, well, it was starting to get limited. Even though we were getting paid for it, it was still limiting for us. So that's where you really want to try to get the leads back to us. And by the way, guys, this is the cool part about if you're a new doc, not uh, you're really too familiar with what we're talking about. But this is the part where we work for you guys um, at the frustration part of the wellness screenings and lunch and learns. As soon as you get that relationship established in those bottom three rungs, you then get the contact back to me, Dane, or Brad. And we're going to start working it for you because we have kind of the questions. Again, Dane, Dane talked said earlier, we've been working with insurance brokers for two years now. So we have the lingos down. We know what they're looking for. We know where they're bleeding as a company. Um, and I firmly believe with ABC and Wellness, we have the actual, absolute best tool set to correct a company's wellness and health uh, than any other field out there. Again, because they don't lack meds. They don't lack a flu vaccination. Um, they, need, they need actionable wellness. And that's kind of where you know, Dane's clinical program and our clinical program at and Wellness comes in. So right there at that middle rung, that's when you get the lead back to us. We start working for you. We get on the horn. We call them up. We find out where their budgets are at. That's a big one, guys. We find out if we can work up the ladder for them to get to their insurance broker because that's the ideal part because the insurance broker may be able to pay for some things. So we start really working our magic for you guys in that middle rung. We get that red rung out of there. And as soon as that is, again, we're coordinating this with your CSK person and we're coordinating with whoever's leading it for your office. We do that. So as soon as that capacity is broke and we get the company to sign up, now what we're finding is some companies go in full board and they sign everybody up like JKJ did. Uh, some companies only want to give us a limited pool. Um, again, we, we know the budgets. We know the, uh, you know, the uh, resources they have on the ground, if they have a wellness coordinator, if they have a wellness ambassador. I mean, there's all sorts of names for them nowadays. So we we have, we, uh, Eric, talk about the uh, form that, you know, we, we basically have a form that we lead with, guys, when we make this contact because we want to find out about what they're, you know, incentive, incentivization is for their, do they have any incentives that they offer for people that would complete this? What's their budget? Uh, what are the challenges? You know, they have vending machines in their cafeteria. Do a lot of their uh, population smoke? You know, so we have a whole forum so that we can capture data so that we can structure this program uh, effectively for the company yeah, well, or for the broker. Yeah, there's two important forms here. And, and, and any docs on here right now who's been going through the program and you're at a week four level, um, or week five level, email me and I'll open up your um, your account to be a doctor status so it gives you access to all the levels plus also the doctor's resources area which we'll show you later on hopefully. Um, but it's a really important part to get to because that's where a lot of the pieces start to fall into place and one of them is in a doctor's profile sheet. And I've been collecting these all week guys and the doctor's profile sheet is basically all the information about you the doctor. So in order for me to really represent you on a telephone, I pop up the profile, I read through it, I get to know what services you have, what insurance companies you're in with, um, what you know, where you went to school, from what techniques. We really figure out all the stuff that you have. Do you have trainers? Do you have massage therapists? So when I get on a horn with the with the company, I can really start to leverage a lot about your company. And then the other form I get from the company is a company uh, profile. 
So I have a question sheet that I pulled up for myself. I have yours on the left and yours on the right. And I start to actually start to go through these questions and I start to kind of figure out you know, where I can help them leverage this part. Again, at the, at the least, you guys are getting a phone call back and saying, hey, you got three lunch and learns coming up. You know, again, there, there are going to be no expenses for that for the most part, but we're not ready yet for the challenge. So we really try to coordinate that relationship for you guys uh, as best we possibly can with those two forms. So they're the forms Dan was talking about. So one's company profiled and also your doctor profile sheet. Um, and again, that's in order to get into the program, we need to have those done. Um, go back up for me one second real quick, Dan. All right, and then uh, then the capacity blocks open. So now what does large groups mean? Large groups mean now you have a bigger bullhorn. You can get your message out much broader. And the broader is through this online high-tech type, high-tech approach. So everything on the first three rungs is high-touch. It's all you. It's labor. It's you getting out there. It's you doing the talks. It's a great part. We get a lot of patients from it. Again, we probably do 40, 50 new patients in a month. Um, so it's a very, very good part. However, you know, at the same time, I love to get a bigger bullhorn and get four or five or 600 people to come through as our message. And that's what the online challenge portal kind of represents for us. Um, so as soon as a patient starts, they start their ABC wellness orientation, you will be out there for your orientation lecture. Um, your talks are all on our website, so when you are a doctor on the ABC wellness challenge, uh, you will have access to all the talks. You can download them, it kind of walks you through kind of our message about what we do and how we do it. And we'll show um, you where to get to, we'll show you where to get those yeah. forms in a second, guys. Absolutely, we'll show that. Uh, week one through four, as they're watching the videos, there's a move better, eat better, think better uh, video, followed by a quiz each week. When they answer that quiz, a email is sent. That's where it says permission marketing. In that uh, 40 to 60% columns, is permission marketing is when an email is uh, generated. It's sent to you, the doctor, or your trainer, whoever's on your staff. It's also sent to the HR. So the companies know at all times where their employees are at in the program. The email is generated organically. So in other words, as soon as someone hits submit for the questions and answers them right, the email is sent to you or your trainer. You have the ability now to turn around and say, Mary, good job, because her name comes back through the email, Mary Johnson from JKJ. You say, Mary, great job. Do you have any questions about week one? How did you do on the program? And it starts to get this permission marketing because they respond back to you guys. They email you back. They say, you know, it was great. You know, I'm having a hard time with the car or the hydrates, or I'm doing great with the exercise, you're starting to build this relationship through email, through social media emailing type aspects. They're starting to see you on a personal basis. And again, I had a doc email me last night, uh, kind of late, and um, I was dealing with a, a sick little one next to me. So I had two seconds to fire back an email, and he says, this is an autoresponder? And I said, no, it's actually me. Um, so it, it, it came back to me quick, and it allowed me to you know, kind of get back and, and get to them real quick. Now, the next one is incentivization. This is an interesting part, too, guys, because one of the key things that's happening in corporate wellness right now is how do you incentivize a person to get better? You know, and again, I can go into intrinsic and extrinsic motivators, um, but what I'm finding more and more that motivates people more than anything is influence. And influence is the people that are inside their head talking to them, their mothers, their fathers, their teachers, their preachers. It's the TV. It's the pharmaceutical companies. Unfortunately, they're the, all the ones inside their sphere of influence. And like I say to all patients, you're judged by the margins of your experience, meaning that if you've been experiencing good things in life and, and you've been eating good foods because someone told you to eat healthy, you've been exercising because someone told you to eat healthy, that was influential for you, uh, you probably have good health. If you don't have good health, look inside your bubble of your influence and you don't have that person there. And uh, this is kind of what we're doing with incentivization now. It allows you to say, okay, well, what do I want to give? You know, what can I give from an office standpoint? Um, can we do uh, massages? Can I entice them to come through for massages? Do I want to bring them in for a support talk? Uh, maybe in week two or week four, we say, come on back in. We're going to do an eight weeks knowledge challenge support talk in office. So now you're starting to bring them into your web a little bit. You're starting to guide them in towards your office. Because again, guys, you are the influence I want in their lives. I want you in their sphere. I want you motivating them. I want you educating them because they need it. TVs aren't doing it. The fast foods aren't doing it. The yeah, Monsatos of the world aren't going to do it for us. We have to influence our patients, and I think we're best led for that. Uh, it says course correction talk number two. That's when you go through uh, back into the company. You're going to do another talk. Um, that talk is going to be about uh, mostly a Q&A session and opening it up. Any questions? How are you doing? Where are you at? You may take metrics again if you want to, like waist to hip and BMI, some easy ones. Um, but mostly, it's again, it's, it's you getting face-to-face -face with them once again. Um, week five through eight, again, you continue on with the emails, you continue on with your incentives. Again, think, think, think long for your incentives, what you can, what you can offer up, again, um, as far as enticing them to come through.
And then your congrats talks. That's when you gather the information at the end, and we'll, again, we talk about you know at the end of the program where the results came from, and we, we'll put that piece all there. And then finally, up top, the wellness authority. And that's that's when at the end of this, and you have a, a group of 100 people going through it. You're now the wellness authority. Um, you are now the person that when something comes up, we layer the message enough over eight weeks between eating better, thinking better, and moving better. These these employees know now their habits predicate their health. If their habits suck, their health sucks. So you're the person that kind of brought that to light, and so, like Dane said earlier with Brad talking about straw man, this this program not just you know breaks down the straw man, but it completely rebuilds back up you know the, the most the powerful message they need to find out about themselves that we know what's causing ailments in human human beings, and we we have the message and the toolkit to get you there. So you're now the person they go to. Um, you're you're the person in six months down the line. Their mother's under crisis uh, care with diabetes, got told you diabetes. They're talking to you now to kind of get them back on the track. Um, if you notice up there, I did put 90 to 98 um, percent. We won't get everybody, guys, but we will get a good majority percentage of people that get turned on to our message. So I'm not naive enough to say it's 100 percent up there, but I know for a fact that when I'm done with JKJ right now, where I'm finishing up their program the next three weeks, um, we just started two of them this week as new patients. Um, it's it's literally going to be a company changing part um, because now they have we have a, a group training. Uh, in our facility now, two days a week on lunch hours, they actually come in. Six, it started with five, now it's at six. I have no doubt it's going to grow more and more where they come over to our office looking for resources. So again, it's a it's a long term layering effect that the authority now is the fact that you are now the recognized authority expert um, in your area. And just the point, you know, and for Dane too, where you know Brad's in the bottom rungs, Dane brings and Amy Smalls brings the top rungs. It's the clinical portion of it. It's the it's the application of the eat better, think better, move well philosophy. That uh, that's the reason why I think Brad was so excited matching up with us because we kind of brought the top part. So, so any question so, on that one day? You got it pretty good. I think it was great. I think you know again I love the concept, guys, of bringing people up the ladder uh, because that's really what you do. You know you got to uh, in my estimation I always call it connect, discover, respond. It's the way I kind of uh, my my metaphor for how I handle my day one, day two. You know, day one is all about connection. It's about finding out what people's healthcare challenges are. It's about finding out what their healthcare goals are, what drives them, right? And then discovery. The discovery process is where's the problems, where are the, where are the the uh, roadblocks, so that we can remove those ro roadblocks, right? And then the respond part is that's what we respond with. Here's here's the solution to the problems that we found in your examination. It's no different when you're going into these corporations or to these brokers. You've got to connect, discover, respond. You know, but before you can respond, you've got to connect. It's always what I say. People don't care how much you know till they know how much you care. They want to know how much you care, and that's are you the wellness authority? Are you really just talking wellness, or do you have something that you can actually deliver? And to that end, this is the program. We took eight weeks to wellness that we've been running for eight years, and we've uh, created a, a skinny version of this where it can be facilitated in a corporation. And we're already getting great testimonials. If I have time, I'll, I'll uh, wrap up this session with one that literally brought tears to my eyes. The guy never even stepped foot into my office. I wish he had because he had he combined the chiropractic adjustments with what, everything that he did. His um, experience would have been even that much better. He's seeing a chiropractor now because he, work, he, he uh, lives in an area that's outside of our radius of our clinic. So I sent him to a chiropractor uh, after he sent me the testimonial. So this is the actual program. Uh, Dr. Eric mentioned that you're going to go in and do the orientation. It can be either done uh, through the web uh, portal, which we'll show you in a second. Uh, you also are going to have some sort of assessment. Now, the assessment could be simple as uh, BMI and, and waist measurement and weight. You know, that, that could be the assessment, or it can be as integral as you doing a, a metabolic syndrome profile on all the employees. We leave that up to Dr. Eric to determine that when he speaks to the HR director of the company. Uh, we're going to show you this personal fitness and uh, exercise that's built into the website, nutrition, a massage is recommended, it's in the manual, chiropractic care is in the manual, that will you know, never be removed from the manual because I want everybody to know that you don't have wellness in your life if you don't have a good chiropractor in your life. And then finally the meditation is scripted and, and basically what we say is that you know, there's 168 hours in a given week. And so we want you to dedicate five to six hours of your time to the most important resource that you'll ever own, which is your own health. Right, so to ask you to to devote five percent, less than five percent of your waking hours to to that important resource, I don't believe is apt asking that much, especially in light of the fact that people spend a lot more time on their TVs, on their Facebook, on doing things that are not going to make them a better human being. How about reinvesting back some time and energy and money back into uh, actually doing something that's going to help you? So, Dr. Eric, I'm going to open up the actual uh, portal, the online portal here. Okay, and. Then 
I should have had it open, but just give me two seconds, guys. So uh, do you want to talk about this page? This is the 8 Weeks to Wellness Challenge page, and I'm kind of logged in uh, already here, and, and you can kind of take us through this, Dr. Eric. But we have, a, we have a broker site that we've created, guys, and I just want to show you this because it's really cool. So what happens is we, we want you guys to get familiar with the 8wwchallenge.com site. So if you're not familiar with it, get familiarized with it because this is the site that you're going to send brokers to. This is the site you're going to send your patients to when you're trying to get into a company. Say, so, you know what, I, I'm part, I, I facilitate an online uh, eight weeks to wellness program I'd love you to check it out it's awwchallenge.com please go to the website and click on learn more so when they click on learn more guys they're going to go to this uh, site that's going to bring up the mission statement it's going to bring up the service menu right and what's that service menu that's all the services that you can possibly uh, provide to that company letting them know you're a wellness champion letting them know that you can do a wellness score and there it is right there letting them know that you can do the health wide uh, company wide health fair or a lunch and learn talk or you know bringing people up the ladder is eventually getting them enrolled in the AWW corporate challenge so I think that's that's pretty cool uh, understanding your return on investment we have a great article here guys that was uh, out of the Philadelphia Inquirer of this company that uh, invested in a wellness program and the return on investment just a great article they can go there uh, and read that article how do they get started with the program you know so if they want to get started you know how do they get started and then also we have testimonials here of people that have actually done eight weeks to wellness so they can click on highlight these and actually read through the letters of the the people that actually went through the program so that it's pretty cool what we've developed with this yeah and this is the breakdown of an HR packet guys too and we'll show you the HR packets in a second and this is the uh, virtual format that we laid out um, the HR packets are high gloss you actually send them out to your uh, patient base that are in, uh, you know interested in doing the um, challenge and again we'll show you those in a second at the end Okay, so let me just show you this, guys. We've created it. what Doctor was, uh, Doctor Eric was alluding to before. This tab is really important, okay? Because not the participants who participate in the challenge will not be seeing this tab. Only the doctors and the HR will be seeing the tab. And so, what we've created here is we've created a tab where we first of all created the presentations. And uh, we have some awesome presentations that we actually use in our Lunch and Learn talks. So we have a 30-minute Lunch and Learn talk, just a general wellness talk. We have a Think Better talk. We have a Move Better talk. We have an Eat Better talk. We have Explaining the Common Biomarkers of Health and Wellness talk. We have, just some, we have a talk for HR. Let's say that you have a presentation to an HR broker. This is what Eric is going to be going through when he talks to the broker. So we have uh, the one that I do for my school district. This is the one that actually got me into my school district where every year now I go in and I do a, a uh, presentation for the teachers and the staff where they have to be there because it's for uh, relicensure uh, of their teacher's license and uh, it's really popular. So we give you that one too. This is an awesome one that Dr. Eric and I put together and also where you're going to have the AWW Challenge uh, um, PowerPoint, the abbreviated one and the full one. So if you have a half hour, hour, these are two different uh, presentations. Anything you want to talk about with that, Eric? Yeah, no, it's just, uh, again, yeah, that's, that's a ton of resources. Dan and I have been putting those together over many years, and, uh, you know, uh, there's, there's stuff we use in our office from the WOWs to everything kind of built into that piece. So huge value, guys, from, from a uh, value standpoint for you. I'm going to open this real quick. This is what I was talking about before, guys. This is the marketing piece where let's say that you want to get into a, uh, a lunch and learn with a, a company or you have a, a, a organization like your police or fire. This is what I would lead with. Um, you know, I would print this up and give this to your patient or give this to your police chief or give this to a broker. Um, because what this is going to do is it's going to give us, just give them some basic information on the program. And this is where you're going to get the patient's name, the email, the company name, number of employees, who's their HR director. This is the form that you're going to get back to uh, Dr. Eric. But the cool thing about this, too, is that you can say, you know, John, I would love you to fill this out. But, you know, one of the things that Dr. Eric is going to want to know or Dr. Dane when they contact your, uh, your police chief or contact your HR director is some of the challenges that your company faces. So it's right here. They can fill this out, you know, in terms of physical activity, in terms of overall stress. You know, it's just a great uh, screening tool that when Dr. Eric gets on the phone with these people, he'll know exactly what, what are some of the challenges that the corporation faces. That yeah, in some cases that that form if it's uh, it, if it's abbreviated form, just a top sheet. Um, I pulled that's part of the form that I pull up for the companies when I'm on the phone with them. I actually walk through that form as part of it. 
Right, and this is uh, pulling up, but we created a basically a health fair a lunch and learn w worksheet for you guys, and this is a PDF that you can download. It's very, very cool. You know, it talks about some of the things that we can do uh, for the corporation. So if you just want a quick hitter to give somebody a flyer, health fairs, doing workshops, eat well, move well, think well to get into the corporation. So you can download this and you can change this, send it to your graphic designer, your printer, and they can change some of the uh, details of this so this becomes your form. All right, and then this is a really important module here, guys, the resources and training. Uh, this is where you're going to find a lot of those forms that we were talking about earlier. Um, I love this one here, the da daily wellness checklist. It's just a checklist of things that people should do. So these are just forms that you can take that are nice handouts when you go and do a lunch and learn. Uh, we have exam forms for the screenings that we do. We have a general health questionnaire for people. We have a stress questionnaire if you're doing the stress talk. We have a lunch and learn questionnaire. We have a, the lunch and learn special offer that Dr. Brad recommends with the $20 close to close people actually to get them into your office. Uh, so there's some really good things here. And then this is what Dr. Eric was talking about earlier. We need this. If Dr. Eric is going to call, he will not call on your behalf if he does not have your AWW Challenge Doctor profile. So if you want us uh, to call on your behalf, we need to have one of these. That's really important. The other thing, too, is that we have the HR Director Broker email that we send out to brokers. Uh, and I think, Dr. Eric, uh, we've talked about the broker site, the nahusite.org, to find brokers in your area. It's a really cool tool that we use uh, to find uh, local brokers. Uh, anything you want to say about this, Dr. Eric? Yeah, and again, this is a, one, of the, one of the key parts, too, you've got to realize, too, is, again, you're getting access to us, uh, especially me, uh, to kind of, uh, you know, I've been on the phone with several doctors this week, and we use this as a, as a resource page so I don't have to go filtering through my computer system, I'll say go to the resource and training site and go ahead and download the um, closing external marketing events, you know, because one person brought up about, you know, closing, how do you close for the challenge? So we have the forms back here, so they're very easy to access. You can go through all of them, download them, but there are a lot of it's for a portal for me to say, hey, go here and get the general health questionnaire. You're taking that with you and having people fill that out so you can grab information before you go to the talk. So it's a great piece for that. So. Cool. And then we have, this is what Dr. Eric was talking about. This is so cool, guys. Um, so I'm just going to open up some of the companies we've been working with, and I'm going to open up JKJ, for example. This is where we can see on the back end your companies and who's registered for the program and where they are. So, for example, this is JKJ that Dr. Eric is working with. So you can see all the people in the company and where they are in reference to the program. So this, this is really cool because the HR director has access to this as well. This was one of the things that the broker recommended to us to say, hey, listen, it would be great to have a report where I can know everybody that's doing the challenge that we've paid for and where they are in the program. And the cool thing about this is, let's say, like Bob Ball, he's stuck in week one. You know, you can just click on his email and it'll pull up your Outlook, and I'm not going to do that, but it'll pull up the Outlook. And you can then uh, email Bob Ball and say, hey, Bob, I see that we're in week five and you're stuck in week one. Is there anything that I can do to assist you with that? So this is a really cool feature that we built in that we can see all the companies, all the employees, and where they are in the program. And then finally, we have a store for you guys. And uh, one of the things that we just put in there, we have a manual for the program, which I'll show you in just a second. We also have the HR folders that we, uh, I think most of you guys, if you're eight weeks to wellness or a CSK doctor, you've received this. It's an HR packet that you would drop off to a broker. You would drop off to a, uh, you know, if it's a big wig. Like I took this to the meeting that I had with the HR director of my school district. She got an HR packet and a challenge manual, and she was extremely impressed by what we created, and I'll show you that in just a second. But it's also some of the other things that you can order, you know, exercise kits, the blender bottles, the meditation CDs, even um, T-shirts if you're doing like a screening uh, or you want to go in on behalf of uh, your, uh, your uh, chiropractic office and, and present a kind of united front, you can have all order the 8 Weeks to Wellness uh, T-shirt. So this is a cool resource that we built in as well. And then uh, finally, this is, this is your online store. So this store is in the resources for doctors. But we also have an, a resource for the participants. So we created a, a store so that some of the thing, resources that we've created, such as uh, fish oil, being having access to a high-quality fish oil, having access to the Ultra Meal, and some of the products that we recommend on the program, or being able to order their wellness kit if the company wants to invest in because if they're doing the home workouts, which we'll show you in a second, they need exercise bands. Uh, if they're doing the Ultra Meal meal replacements, they need the blender bottle. They need the meditation CD if they're going to be doing that at home or in the uh, car, even though it's programmed into the uh, online portal as well. 
So we have that as well. And they can order, obviously order the Ultra Meal and the fish oil from this site as well. But Dr. Eric, what I'm going to do is just briefly, why don't you take everybody through what a, an employee is going to go through when they go through the uh, program and then we'll wrap it up. Sure. Absolutely. So what's going to happen initially is when we get the, um, e the list back from the company for their first, last name, and email addresses, they're going to have access to a login. And they're only going to be able to see that orientation right there. So the orientation piece is the only one they're going to have access to first. The orientation is about a 40 minutes in length. It's one of the lengthier videos that we have, but it lays down the foundation for everything that they're going to go through. I tell the company ahead of time. You can tell them to. This also is done by you in the office if you so choose. So if you want to go to the company and do this talk, you have that talk right here to watch. It's also in the uh, resource center, but you can actually do that talk. Now scroll down for me, Dane. At the end of every video, or in the orientation video, there's going to be a questionnaire. So how many minutes of 20 minutes of uh, HIIT cardio sessions? What carbohydrates can you eat for week one? Um, how many days per week? So the participant is going to select the right number and then hit that click here to complete button right there. And that complete here button is going to take them back to the training page. Go ahead back over the training page from you, Dan. And it's going to open up just week one. So they're not going to see that week two. They're just going to see week one in the orientation tab. And that's it. And in week one, it's going to have move better, eat better, think better, and weekly quiz. Now, during the orientation, we're going to tell patients or tell employees to start with move better on a Monday or Tuesday, uh, eat better Wednesday, Thursday, and then think better Friday, Saturday. So there is a little bit of a layout we tell you to kind of go through. But click on move better for me. So in move better, we're going to have two different workouts broken down for the participants. For number one, they're going to watch a video. The first one talks about de-evolving. So right off the get-go, we're already getting the chiropractic message of posture and mobility and what it means to them as far as you know, their, their spines go. You lead right out with that. And that's a big part for companies now because more and more research is coming out that um, sitting is the smoking of a new generation. They're saying more people are going to be dying from sitting now at jobs for six hours for 20, 20 years out of their lives. It's like a five-year reduction of life expectancy. This, the studies are coming around. So uh, it's going to be big, more and more of a buzz for uh, companies to hear that. Um, you'll see at the bottom there's an actions for today. Um, for pages, so just different areas where you can go to read page 13 through 20. Uh, go ahead, screen up. Scroll yeah, let's just quick. yeah, let's just show them the manual. Okay. So when it says read through pages 13 through 20, what does that mean? Well, we have they obviously can um, have a virtual manual here. So th this is the actual manual for the program, guys. Um, so we go through their their mission. Why are they doing the program? I mean, this is if you haven't read it, guys, it's awesome. We talk about chiropractic. We talk about the exercise component of the program. Uh, we talk about nutrition. I mean, this is just chock full massage, you know, chock full of awesome stuff. This is actual manual that we use for the uh, eight weeks wellness in our office. So this is really, really uh, cool. We tell them exactly what they should eat, how to read a food label, what glycemic index is, what are the appropriate par carbs, fats, and proteins, and portion sizes. Uh, you know, we talk about meditation, how important it is to their uh, cortisol levels, we, and then we talk about pitfalls, like some of the common errors that we see patients make on the program. What are they committing to? What are the shopping lists? I mean, it's just really, really good stuff. We go through glycemic index of common foods. They have a weekly weigh-in where they can record their weight eat each week. Um, so just some great stuff in here. And then at the end, we have a uh, uh, basically a, a, a logbook where they're logging each day of the program, and it's hard to see this, but they log their morning meal, their midday meal, their evening meal, how many ounces of water they drank, did they do their strength training, did they do their cardio, did they do any meditation that day, did they take their fish oil, any other supplements they took as well. So this manual is very, very um, integral to the program, and they can actually access it and, and uh, print it up on the online portal, or the company can actually print them up, uh, order, and uh, get the manuals in uh, the uh, paperback form. Yes, and that, and guys, just so you guys understand too, is that that manual is pretty much the core, the nucleus of this program. Everything's been spun from that manual, so that manual has a ton of information. Um, Dan and I have basically been layering um, message upon message based upon what's in that manual. So Dan and Denise did an incredible job on that. Um, so talk about their workouts here. Absolutely. So on the move, on the, uh, when, they, when we lay out their exercise program and your orientation, we talk about those three really big components that we're looking for that we want to work through. Um, one is going to be cardiovascular, which is our 20 minutes of hits. We talk about doing three times a week. Uh, the other part is our mobility piece. Um, that's that second part. And by the way, that calculator right there is the ability for them to plug in their age. Um, this is our mobility piece that, that Dan just opened up. Uh, the mobility piece is actually something that I've been working with for a while, uh, whether it's a great coach program or uh, FMS and all different parts, and that in our office we use it all the time. 
but we do movement preps and we do mobility pieces to basically address the biggest causes of uh, of a subluxation that we find, and it's going to be upper and lower cross syndromes, where the muscles that are uh, mostly activated now in corporations are going to be um, their psoas are shortened, and their pec major, pec minor, especially on your mouse side, are shortened because everything's going towards flexion. So we really start to build on extension bias type mobility pieces. And again, if you want more information, uh, ABs to Wallace, uh, we have a two-day event coming up. We talk more fitness on that, but uh, we can build in the, the layering of why we why we suggest it. And we give them the sets and reps. So we give them sets, reps, guys. And then also, if they don't know how to do a particular exercise, they can click on this button and it pops up a cool video of the person actually going through that. Yeah. Yep. And then uh, the next one is our strength strengthening and um, strength building portions of it. Now, we talked in the beginning of the orientation of how you determine a beginner, intermediate, or advanced. And I asked this participant to look inside their heart and say, hey, have you worked out in the past six months or six years or have not anything? You're probably a beginner. If you've been working out, but you're not really at a level that you feel like you're comfortable with, um, you'd be an intermediate. And then if you're a butt kicker, fire breather, crossfitter, um, you do the advanced workouts. And they are, they are intense as you work your way up. So uh, we also structured it so that there's two types. One is at home and one is um, in the gym. So when you're doing the at home program, uh, you do them with bands. So that's the only difference between that one there and the one for at the gym is that we utilize cable systems or dumbbells or barbells or kettlebells um, for the beginner pieces. Uh, you'll see that it's going to migrate more towards um, uh, dumbbells possibly or possibly bands and uh, I'm sorry, the dumbbells, yeah, dumbbells and also uh, cables. And uh, Dr. Eric, I just want to say that you programmed out all these workouts are awesome. I've done most of the advanced ones. As a matter of fact, I had a doctor tell me last week um, that the advanced workouts really kicked his ass. So. Yeah, and open one up real quick. And oh, hold on, real quick, free to Just scroll. It's, it's just yep. it says right here, twelve reps, three sets. So it's a very basic, you know, in my opinion, for for training people's low volume. It's a beginner workout program. I'm not looking to smoke them out and make them sore. Um, it's just trying to graduate them up the scales for the most part. Um, then your advanced workouts, you're going to see a different different uh, you know, uh, approach for here. It's completely different. It's more the CrossFit. Again, I've owned CrossFit gyms. Um, hang on one sec. Real quick, let me get back to my screen. I've owned CrossFit gyms, so I've programmed out for athletes my whole life. Um, reps of 100, so you're doing 100 push-ups, 100 uh, pull-ups, 100 sit-ups, 100 squats. Uh, no time, so you see where it says rest is zero seconds. Um, just trying to get through it. <laughs> yeah, just survive it. Um, you know, there's scalability. Again, we don't really go to scalability too much, but um, you know, again, that's our in-office model. We kind of work through. So that's your move better. Uh, Daniel, click back to the actual training. So eat better is the um, all the recipes. So Dane and Denise have put together a fantastic manual that has recipes built in that they can pull up here and have meals that are um, in accordance and in congruency with what we recommend nutritionally. Uh, that's a big part because remember, it comes down to choices, portions, and timings. And that's what we develop out in language to all of the participants is it comes down to choices. What choices are you making? How much are you eating? And are you eating frequently enough? And that's kind of what we built upon um, in here. And one of the first things in the videos, and the videos, guys, if you haven't watched them, are just chock full of great information. But we talk about, you know, how in 1950 we ate 5% of, of the meals out of the home. And now today we eat over 50% of our, our meals out of the home. In 1950, less than 5% of the population was obese. Today we have over 50% of the population is overweight and obese. So there's a correlation with how much you're eating out. We want people to rediscover their kitchens, rediscover portion control. So we give them recipes and we encourage them to, it's actually a part of their homework assignment to be able to complete those recipes by the end of the week. And then this yeah, is the meditation. So. Yeah, they're all, they're all in a drip format, guys. And guys from the chiropractic, it's dripping it, that whole layering effect. That's what we do each week with uh, individuals. And they're all four to seven minutes in length videos just so you have an idea how long the videos are. Um, and yeah, and then meditation. And, um, and I think about a portion really was a, a kind of a two-front part for Dane and I because you know, both Dane and I have been working a lot on ourselves, um, you know, just in um, extended education pieces, whether it's Anthony Robbins or if it's um, you know, any various portions of, uh, of, of you know, self-improvement in human beings. Dane and I are pretty, pretty good at that, good with that part. Um, and then, of course, uh, Dane, and, uh, and Dane and I have the, the uh, distinct advantage of having a fantastic individual, Teresa Fair, who is our meditation expert who we've been working with for several years. She comes out to our companies and does the meditations. Uh, the one thing I would a absolutely ask anyone on this talk right now to try to do is try to find a meditation person in your area that can come in and do some lead some meditation for us because it's just so incongruent with what we do chiropractically and just it's a great piece. So yeah, what Jane just opened up was uh, Teresa's meditation part. She leads the meditation every week. We have eight meditations drawn out. Again, seven minutes in length roughly so they can actually do meditations. And then last but not least, the quiz. 
and the quiz is accumulation of all three weeks. There is one question from each area. So one question from Move Better, one question from Think Better, one question from Eat Better. The questions, the answers for the questions are embedded inside those videos. They have to watch the videos to really come out with that. Or they could go through the manual. But again, at least we know they're doing their work. This was a piece the companies wanted, wanted us to have in place so people know they're progressing. So do me a favor, Dan, just go ahead and answer them real quick. So primary activity, most people do is sit. <clears throat> uh, three factors is factors under your control. And then uh, two of macronutrients besides proteins, fat, and carbs. There you go, hit complete. Now, if Dane was logged in as a, as a um, participant, oh, he, it's actually working out. Cool. He gets pushed to the screen right here, which is a little congratulations screen. Now, you might just see that rock right there. I use this rock as a close for me, and I let companies understand that rock right there is there, it's inside their employees' heads to make good habits. They feel like it's too tough to push. Um, but the cool part is look at that little slope where that rock's at. That little lady, she gets that rock moving. That's momentum. And we talk about momentum in the program and how when you get that rolling, it's, it's an incredible experience. And I know everyone is call has been in better shape in their lives. I don't know, Dane's probably always in his best shape. Um, but I know I've been in my best, better shape than I am now. So uh, I know the difference is right now my momentum hasn't been as quick with uh, having three children and the practice in this program. It gets in the way sometimes. But uh, thank God I have Dane to fall back on and get me motivated. He's like, hey, you're stop fat. Making, stop making excuses, dude. <laughs> yeah. Stop minimizing. Yeah. this weekend. Um, right, so so, that's, so that, that's the your week's, guys. We have about four or five minutes. Dr. Eric, so I want to kind of wrap this up. You got it. I just want to make a point there that when I, when I click that submit button for the um, uh, quiz, an email was generated to the coach, uh, I'm sorry, the doctor and to the HR person. So when, whenever someone completes that weekly quiz, that's when the email is sent to you, the doctor, to tell you that Eric Perrone has completed week one. That is your opportunity now to turn around while he's fresh from taking that test to say, hey, Eric, how did that, how did your week one go? And start to really create that layering effect of relationships. Um, and it opens up that uh, portal for you to start uh, incentivizing and doing all the good stuff. So I just want to finish with this, guys. I think it's just such an awesome – this was actually from a participant. I just want to share this with you. He uh, emailed this to me. He said, Dr. Dane, thank you for sharing your time, energy, and eight weeks to wellness challenge program with me. I began the program weighing 184 pounds, and I finished the program weighing 166.5. Both my waist and hip measurements decreased as well. While all those changes in my numbers I'm proud of, I want to tell you about the most important transformation. Growing up, I had relatively a healthy childhood without any major events until I was 18. That summer, I woke up with severe pain that I had never experienced before in my life. The pain was located in my lower back and hips, and it was so intense that I could not walk for periods of time. For 15 years, that area would continue to flare up, causing me pain that would last a few days, a few weeks, or too often several months. I went to every doctor imaginable, and they had me take every test imaginable, and still no relief was found. The stiffness, soreness, and pain in that area was daily for 15 years. About two years ago, I was diagnosed with an autoimmune disease called AS, ankylosing spondylitis. It is as bad as it sounds. About a year ago, I accepted the diagnosis and, and began infusions of a drug called Remicade, essentially a protein, blah, 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 and an NSAID. The two never truly gave me complete relief from my, my symptoms. Dr. Dane, I apologize for the long story, but 15 years of going through life in such horrific pain was awful. I began the eight weeks to wellness program thinking that maybe I could lose a little bit of weight and hopefully feel fitter. I learned immediately that your program was a blessing. I was feeling so good that after three weeks, I decided to stop the NSAIDs and suspend my infusions indefinitely. During the eight weeks that I was following your program, I woke up every morning but three uh, uh, without uh, uh, stiffness free. I feel better today than I have in 15 years. What I learned about my colleague's husband's willingness to share a wellness program at the place where I work, I had no idea what it was. I even considered not doing it. In fact, I did not sign up until the weekend before your introduction at Barclay, which was the school. One of the most meaningful parts of the manual for me was writing down why I wanted to complete eight weeks to wellness. My whys for doing the program included me wanting to grow old with my wife and be healthy in order to enjoy our time together, me having energy to help my children grow up to be great people, and me being pain-free. Because of you, Dr. Dane, I believe I am living my whys, and I have uh, God to thank for, for, for putting me in the right place at the right time. I also have you to thank, Dr. Dane, for having integrity, compassion, unselfish, and kindness. You shared your life's work for me, and in so doing, you helped change my life forever. I'm forever indebted to you. Guys, you know what it does for, for me? I get ch tingles thinking about it, but getting letters like that, I mean, it's just so freaking awesome. And this guy never stepped foot into a chiropractic office, and now he's a chiropractic patient. This is the opportunity that we have. You know, I want to wrap up by thanking Dr. Eric. 
I want to wrap up also by telling you that you know you you've got to be certified in the program. You've got to go through the program. You've got to fill out your profile. You know if you're if you're not uh, doing the homework, we're not letting you uh, administer the program. We've put our hearts and souls into this and a lot of time, and we're not going to go have you uh, go out on behalf of us and represent a program that you haven't done the work to truly learn. Um, and I hope you can appreciate uh, how serious we are about that. You have to be either eight weeks to wellness or CSK to be able to be certified to offer the eight weeks to wellness challenge. I absolutely love you guys. I love this profession. Uh, I think we're going to do great things with this program. And Dr. Eric, I'll let you close it up. Awesome. Yes. Anybody that's on the call right now that uh, is in, in not in the program right now currently, email me, Dr. Eric at aww.com. It's D R E R I C at aww.com. Uh, email me for any questions. Also, we have a Q&A today, so if you have a question on this, email me directly. I'll get the answers for you. And uh, I so look forward to uh, expanding our network of what we're doing right now. We're hoping to get the $150 point by sometime next year, which is just a huge influence, guys, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to rock the corporate world. And, and guys, just look for the, we're doing uh, bi-weekly uh, uh, trainings on this, so they're on Thursdays, so we do them with Brad, some of them, but there are different topics, we'll be continuing to do those, For look for those. If you want more information on 8 Weeks to Wellness, please go to 8 www for doctors 8 www for doctors for doctorscom come to our office, come to our May 2 day and learn what we're doing, it's just a phenomenal thing. So I appreciate you guys being online, hanging with us for an hour, hopefully you got something out of this. I'd love to hear back from you, Dr. Dane at 8WW.com. Any of your questions, please fire them to Dr. Eric or, or I. Have an awesome weekend, and we'll uh, talk to you on the next training.